the other thing you were saying when when you came in is that you did listen to the We Not Know show. I on, do on a I, Tuesday. Yes, I, I I need a bit of a laugh. Right. So I turn on to your program when I'm in Tesco's car park. Right. And I do have it mighty loud, unfortunately. And um, I do apologise for anybody else who has to put up with it as well as me. But it just gives me a good laugh and it's um, a good way to get my lunch down quick. <laughs> right. So the, the idea of doing, doing some of the show recorded one week and then playing that back the next week did, did that sort of work out do you think well you knew you were outside the studio that's one thing <laughs> so how, how could you tell um, well it could have been the uh, seagulls yes <laughs> <laughs> the bombers over the over top of us you know people shouting you know yes, that sort of thing. yes. yes. I, unless you go and sit somewhere very very quietly <laughs> but did that matter very much not really no I think it's quite good because we do a lot of that on this show don't we we go well, out we try. and we go and sit in a pub or co cafe coffee place yes. and you interview somebody so it's the the ambulance of the rear <laughs> yes. Well, JD, listen. The, the 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 other thing that came out there was was Albertopolis West, mm -hmm. which I'm going to explain again for people. Who I've never heard of it. You've never you, heard you, of it. Okay. You've been well, all these things to this wonderful program, and I have to get I have to get the old Excitopedia out to, <laughs> right. to work out what the words mean. Right. Well, we we have explained it a couple of times, and there is a clip on on YouTube mm. uh, explaining it. But I'll do, I'll do it again, mm. because there are always new listeners, and you, 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 you seem to need an update on it as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Prince Albert, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, very distinguished Victorian mm -hmm. era person, mm -hmm. he's responsible for the Great Exhibition and various other things, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of that, that uh, material mm -hmm. ended up in, in a sort of space between the Royal Albert Hall Mm. And the Victoria and Albert Museum. Mm -hmm. If you if you go to London, there's there's quite a large area there. Yes, that's a very large area. So we don't know. Uh, it's got the Science Museum in it mm. and the Imperial mm -hmm. College, mm. various other bits and pieces. So that is Albertopolis. That is the original Albertopolis. Mm. And then um, the Mayor of London, Boris, he has announced that there's going to be an Albertopolis East, which is the Olympic Park. Mm. So I don't know how many of the organisations he's persuaded, but or somebody's persuaded, but this is a, a description of it. Various sort of West End uh, institutions, brand names, let's say, are going to move to the Olympic Park, mm -hmm. which I don't think was the original idea. But anyway, there's going to be an Albertopolis West. No, an Albertopolis East, I should say, sorry. That, so, that, so the Olympic Park will contain Albertopolis East. And it just seems to me that Albertopolis West already exists around the Royal Albert Memorial Museum in Exeter. Right. Uh, because clearly the, the Phoenix is part of that. Mm -hmm. Fonning FM is part of that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the library as well. Mm -hmm. And recently, this is why I've started looking at the idea again, the um, college, Exeter College, has mm. uh, decided that the... I think it's currently called the, the Centre for Creative Industry, mm. but that is going to be called a, an art school. I think, I think that's the word, an art school. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons for that is that there is, there is, there's nothing left of uh, the Plymouth base that used to be out down by the river. Mm -hmm. That's all gone to Plymouth. Mm. And the university... I don't know, this is one of the things I want to look into. Long, long ago... There was a lot of art associated with the the museum or the museum building. Mm -hmm. uh, it it studied science and art more or less the same, mm -hmm. but for some reason, Exeter University sort of left that behind. When it all moved out outside of the city, the art bit uh, didn't go with it. So I, I don't. I, that's that's my impression anyway. I may have got that quite wrong. Perhaps they're making Exeter something different. Because you've got a lot of art around Dartington, to say Totnes area. Yeah. So they're probably moving it, moving it about a bit. Yeah, but I would have thought this happened in the twenties. When we, when was Dartington starting up? Oh, a long time, long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's done by the Elmhurst. 
oh. uh, they set it up. So yes, uh, so it's been doing for you for years, but it's just the it's the area, I suppose. They're trying to. It's like Exeter is up and going, trendy place to live now. Yeah, you know, with uh, that sort of high tech and what have you. So perhaps they're trying to keep up with that. So and not they, bother with the art. Who's not bothered with the art? Yes, right. Yes. But the art comes in in the form of performance, probably not in art as painting. Well, they've they've. I don't think they've completely got rid of the music, but they've, mm. they've cut back on the budget for music recently. Oh, right. I think I think it's the student union or the student mm. guild. Sorry, mm. their their building seems to be the place for music, which is mm. right out on the edge, really, in terms mm. of the forum and everything. So well, may, maybe mm. that maybe the university, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe they're just concentrating mm. on on tech. Perhaps, well, perhaps they they uh, they they seen that that's right. They they keep to one particular format. Yeah. Then and then and instead of having twenty different formats, then it's probably better for for where they where they are because they have taken over quite a lot of the of the city centre at the moment. So what the university has. Yes. Mm. But not with um, not with anything, not with sort of seminar spaces, no, or no, no, performance I'm, 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 spaces or anything like that. Well, it's like if you if you went, you know, you sit yourself in the middle of the M5 and say, here I'm going to put a, um, a big superstore right here, yeah, and think, is that appropriate? You know, it's, it being appropriate in the situation, I well, think. It, what you're saying is that the the university is taking over the centre of Exeter, but it's only for residences. Isn't it? It's all student accommodation. Well, it's always, well, it's always been a universal, uh, universal city. Yeah, but d d you see, Jody, what I'm getting at is, it, um, it wasn't that long ago when the when the well, let's say the the, the Royal Albert Memorial Building, because the building contained lots of different mm. things. It wasn't mm -hmm. just a museum mm. when it started, but that was obviously in the centre of the city, mm. and it included art. Mm. So now it seems to me we've got a, a campus. Um, outside the city, mm. and yeah, the university Im impinges on the city, but only only mm. for dormitories. It's not mm. it's not actually integrated with the city very mm. well. But it, it, what what it brings to the city? That's where probably what they're thinking is if if you bring, you know, it's like. Yeah. I'm going to say Tottenham's here, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, sure, no, let's let's because you might be right. Maybe, mm. maybe, you see, maybe if, you, if you think what Tottenham's has been built up around that sort of um, hippie, sort of you know, cosmotic thing, you know, yeah. and that's what you know people are going to think. Oh, that's what Tottenham's relates to. Yeah. So if you say well, Exeter only relates to a mass of of uh, you know art, ev all these different subjects. Yeah. Instead of actually changing it every now and again, so to keep up the times, really, I suppose, and technology is taking over really from in art, the art world quite a lot now. So it's the it's the science part. It's the science the part office, of it. Yeah. Those, those, yeah. Th those sorts of things. Mm. So that's what Exeter wants to be known for. Mm. And you you might be right. Maybe they gave up on art because of the the or everything around Totnes. It could be yes. Is it is it is just is the people and who we are now. It's like you know. You say, well, look, we 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 can do a show using um, a CD cassettes or you know cassettes or yeah. or that sort of old technology. Yeah. And so there, a lot of people say, well, you haven't brought it up to date. You know the whole the whole thing. What you know, you're in a time warp, so to say. And there are places which are still <laughs> in a time warp, you know, and, they, and they like it. You see, so so therefore yes. it could be good for their area. Yes. You know, but the, so you have to put whatever you're putting into the area and make sure it, it flourishes. Yes. Well, JT, look, I, I think if, pe if people can phone in, yep. Um, if you know, if you know uh, what Prince Albert thought about art, or what happened next, and if you know Prince Albert, we'd like to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody, anybody who's got views on this, what, what? What what was the the role of art in whatever it was that was in the space now known as the Royal Albert Memorial Museum? Yes, what was the the subs the the art form? That's what we like to see. It was, it was portrait or 
or anything like that, you know. So right, what was going on? Mm. But, but also, JD, I, I would like a lesson in in how the phone works here. And also, <laughs> I think... Well, you lift I the receiver up. Yes. And you push them <laughs> into the numbers, and, and then it goes... And the other person at the other says, hello, OK? <laughs> but there's, a, there's other buttons. If I want to put that on air, there's other buttons I have to push. No, there's no buttons on the phone. No, but somewhere else the, I've got behind to push you, the, the big button. Anyway, what I'm trying to mm. say is, if I think you should go out on a, on a venture... Because very often, because you well, just seem to understand... The that, you won't get me back in the studio once I've gone. No, well, that's all right. <laughs> we know where to find you. Yeah. <laughs> There's only about five cafes we need to check. Only five? You only know five? Well, nearby. <laughs> well, no, you see, you just don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> anyway, I'm just yeah. saying that we... we sh- because, unfortunately, the, during that time... I mean, it was, it was wonderful. Because of the International Women's Day, we, we didn't have the show to do at all. Mm. So we didn't have to worry about the studio. We just went out and um, sat in the cafe. Mm. But we only got to two. Mm. We would have got to the museum one if it had been open, but it wasn't open then. Mm-hmm. But I think we should go and explore that. And maybe the, the Crescent, sort of the area around Central Station, mm-hmm. the several cafes yes, there. Yes, there's two down there as well. And, of course, Cafe 55, where mm-hmm. we, we usually go, but we don't always broadcast from. Mm. But I, I think we'll 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 go and we'll go and try and find out what happened to art, and um, what happened to the university, and 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 um, what's happening at the moment. I think somebody should come and inform us what's happening in that area. Then we, as a broadcasting nation here, can tap into it or not. Yes. You well, know, no, I think we would. I think so. Yes. If somebody came along, we'd we'd mm. allow them to speak. Well, yep, not, we not are, for we're more than no, more than about an hour. <laughs> but anyway, we've been going on long enough, JD. Oh, you can, yes, I'm yeah. going to go back to a CD. What? Yes, What's a, that? Com- a compact disc. A compact because disc. Because I am a Three Degrees <laughs> fan, and they have a new CD, mm-hmm. and they're going to be in Exeter. They're going to be at the Barnfield Theatre. Mm-hmm. So I think it's only right to play their CD. And um, HMV have got one copy again. You've got it there. I've got, no, well, I bought. <laughs> it's one of these weird things. I, I mean, the, the compact disc. You say uh, it's. Fading away as technology, but I still. No, 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 I didn't, didn't what did you say exactly? I'm no, I, you already. I, I use. I will use compact discs, and I do from time to time. I will adapt to whatever situation I'm in. Right. So if it's back to the old 78s. So we have to get the wind-up rag gramophone going in the corner. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> So well, okay, then, anyway, for yes, whatever yes, reason, I, I think it's it's good to have these CDs around, and they I don't I think they've done something with these with these songs. It's not just cover versions on their their, their CD strategy. They well perhaps they weren't allowed to tackle all of these songs because they they originally were fairly fairly poppy, let's say. And um, anyway, this this is a, this is a, a Lou Rawls song. You'll you'll it's just titled here. You'll never find another love. <laughs> <laughs> 